What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Amber put up this. Okay, we're going to just take a look at it. We're going to understand. We're going to talk through this. And I know a lot of people asked for a synopsis. A lot of people looked at my last video and said, hey, I really don't understand. So let me give you just a brief summary of what took place. Amber Lynn was not posting. Reaction channels, including myself, were concerned, hey, she has not been posting. She then went on other social media platforms. She talked about a, quote, hiatus she was taking from YouTube. This hiatus didn't align with anything. So, reaction channels went out. They realized that a couple hundred thousand views have been removed from Amber's channel. Amber, if you, if you aren't familiar, is very much synonymous with not removing videos. So this was abnormal. She's not like Chantal in where deleting posts and videos, live streams is a common occurrence. Amber just does not do it. So eventually, through reaction channels, through clip channels, it was determined that her whole chicken rotisserie mukbang, which I don't want to say infamous, but again, you know, 300,000 views, very well-watched video, was removed. Amber wanted to project she was completely unbothered by this. And she did that through a multitude of posts. Uh, I don't have a strike. I'm just posting. Uh, if I was banned, I couldn't make this post. Uh, anyways, with a yawn emoji. All these things to prove, you know, unbothered over here. She then posts the email. Now, I understand some people will say she's faked emails in the past. She's faked interactions in the past. But at face value, let's just say community was pretty much spot on. And as soon as the 14 days is up... I would imagine Amber will go back to posting. Now, prior to this, some people thought, hey, Amber was just being lazy. It's amazing to me that the posts are timed with when kind of the period for her to post would have ran out. And it's not as if people were right or wrong about her specifically being banned or the specific timeline. It's that she didn't just come out and say, listen, I had a content violation. And that became one of the larger questions within the community is, how could this happen after so long? And, and to that, my response would be a little bit open-ended. Okay, first of all, it doesn't matter. Policies change all the time. And YouTube is a massive platform. It takes time. Sure, sometimes it takes three days. Sometimes it takes three hours. I, apparently, some days it takes three years. I, it just depends. I Think of it this way. You're on a highway, right? You're on a major interstate. You're driving, you're driving, you're driving. And there's hundreds of thousands of people that take the same highway. And you are the one that gets a ticket. And you go out to your mailbox, you open it up, you see the little drone shot there, and you know there's you driving down the road carefree. And you say to yourself, why me? Nancy Kerrigan style. Of all the people, why was I the one that got picked out? Right? Why was I the one that got the ticket? I've driven down this road a thousand times. I've never gotten a ticket until now. Same process. It's really the same process. YouTube, understand, does not want to remove a video with 300,000 views because they make income the same way we make income. So the broader image here is that this video was removed based on this policy. And what I would express to Amber is the point in her life she's at with Tommy looking at this and saying, okay, essentially my employer, right? I understand that Amber doesn't like to, you know, leverage, you know, YouTube as her only job the same way Chantal does, the same way. I will say HFC really is open-ended about her income, but isn't fully dependent on YouTube either. I find it interesting that none of them want to just come right out and say, listen, I'm dependent on this, you know, in large part, this is what I do for income. It's okay. There's a lot of creators on this platform, and many of them want to get to the point where they can sustain their life based solely off content creation. One of the big reasons for that, I'll just give you an example with myself, is you have so much freedom, right? Not just of your time, but freedom over how and when you work, how effectively you can work, okay? A great example of that is, got the holidays coming up. I'm also, you know, doing some renovations, right? These are things that cost money to a lot of people. Now, in the past, 
you know, if I had a regular job, I would go in and say, hey, listen, I need to pick up a couple shifts. I need to see if there's any overtime available. I have to earn a little bit extra money because I have these things upcoming in my life that are going to acquire additional income. Now, there were some jobs I had where they said, sorry, too bad, so sad. You know, walk to work a couple days to save money. Uh, that way you won't be burning gas. Hope you pack a lunch and save some money on your takeout. Because what's here is what's here, and that's all you can work. Then I had other jobs that said, sure, you know, work 12 hours a day. We don't care. But with YouTube, there's a lot more control. If you want to post two videos a day, if you want to post an extra video a week, you can do all those things and you can find ways to generate more income for yourself. And that's very attractive to someone that is working. So the fact that Amber gets essentially a hiatus, as she likes to call it, away from the platform, does impact her. But more importantly, as I said, with everything going on with Tommy, she should look and say, okay, my employer, okay, for lack of a better term, my employer is looking at this and saying, hey, this is hurting you to the point we're no longer going to allow it to be platformed. And she should say to herself, listen, to some degree, I'm under a microscope here. To some degree, I guess... We're going to make at least one Chantal reference. Sala would be very pleased with what's hitting the fan or what could potentially hit the fan if they continue to look at my channel. And I should really, really focus on changing my content. It also comes down to honesty and transparency. Because I think there's a lot of people that look at this and say, okay, these people just post when they need money. You know, the end of the month with Chantal or with Amber, it's, you know, not consistent posting. Why she couldn't just come out and say the truth? Why she can just come out and say, listen, this happened. Is it embarrassing for her? I would imagine. You don't know, you shouldn't be proud of it. I mean, let's let's say that. But what are you going to do meaningful during that time? What are you going to do to make sure that this doesn't happen again? And I think the first thing that I would want to do is get people that promote this type of lifestyle away from me. Separate myself from them. Because they're only going to facilitate this happening more. So now she's in a position where the person she's with may be the one encouraging this behavior. The platform that she posts to clearly does not want it. And then that's going to put you in a really, really tough predicament. Because the income that you need to sustain yourself as a human being to be fully independent is now working against what your partner essentially wants you to be doing. That is not an envious position for anyone. But that is where she is. And I truly feel that if she would have just came out instead of that first post and saying, no strike now, just not posting, and said, listen, one of my videos got removed. You're all going to know about it. Here's what it is. This is something that happened. I'm not going to appeal it. I'm going to let it go. And I'm going to use this to put a emphasis on my health and my content going forward. And I'm going to take this in stride people probably would have been a lot more understanding of it. They certainly would have thought that they're not being respected as a viewer. They certainly would have not thought that they were being ignored as someone that follows them. And now it just makes it look like what we've all known to be true. They will always create an excuse. They will always try to change the narrative instead of just simply coming out and saying, hey, here's what happened. Whether they need to be proud of something, whether they need to embarrass of something, we never truly get told what reality is until someone finds it out for them and posts it. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching. I'll be back as soon as I can with more commentary.